Taurus, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your judgment reading. So this was the energy, the collective energy for the energy forecast of this week. And it was so interesting when I started jumping into this judgment energy because I found that we are about to exit the south node transitioning through Scorpio and we're about to enter the transition of the north node in Taurus. So interestingly enough, Scorpio, we just had um, a solar eclipse in Scorpio and we just had a lunar eclipse in Taurus. Um, so guys, the south node energy is all about death and rebirth. It's all about karma and letting things out of your life that doesn't serve you any longer um, in order to make space for the new things to come in. So that is what the south node is about and the north node, what we are stepping into in January 2022 until July 2023 is getting you to your path of destiny, getting you to your soul purpose, getting you to what is intended for you for real in this life. And that is exactly the judgment energy. So I just found this very serendipitous to have this as our collective energy and we are about to step into this. So if we are aware of this, of this energy, we can utilize it so much better. Right, Taurus, what area of your life has undergone a death? Remember the Scorpio South node, the stuff that's ending, the stuff that's being taken out of your life to make space for the new. What area of your life has undergone death? And we have faith. Interesting. So you, this might go in a few places, oh, in, a, in a few ways. Number one that I'm getting is you might have had faith in the wrong things or maybe your beliefs were were false beliefs and you got to realize it and you needed to change that which you've done or it might be that you didn't have faith and now you do so let it fit in your life as as you feel it resonates with you it's going to be different for all of you it's a, it's a collective reading it's not an individual reading sorry guys i had a major um throat and third eye chakra upgrade over the weekend and <laughs> i feel that that just kicked in <clears throat> so um okay so we're there now what part of your life is the rebirth being applied to remember the scorpio the south node is death and rebirth and um the the part of or the area of your life that this rebirth is being applied to is nature it's so funny if you have capricorn in your chart when i shuffled for <coughs> excuse me when i shuffled for capricorn both of these cards fell out exactly like that. And it, it didn't come out in their reading, but it now, it's now coming out in exactly the, um, the order of when it flipped out, when I was shuffling for them. So if you have Capricorn on your chart or you're dealing with a Capricorn, please watch that reading as well. Okay, so what area of your life is this rebirth energy being applied to? And we have nature, Pan. And you see he's holding a flower there. <clears throat> I feel that in in your life, the things that, that you've believed in obviously has changed because whether it's, it's the question of you had a false belief or the question of you didn't have faith and now you do, it sort of like flips it completely. And I feel that things in your life is about to flower and to bloom and to become fruitful. And I really feel that this is going to be quite an amazing thing for you, Taurus. This is going to be like, um, what is what is that tarot reader, Minnow Pond Tarot on YouTube? I love him. He's my he's one of my favorites. He says um, <clears throat> a glow up. He he calls it glow up energy, and I feel this for you. It's like everything in your life in your life is about to be upgraded and about to glow up. Oh wow, this is awesome! Right. So, what area of your life is being transformed? And we have the underworld. Okay. Yes, I absolutely thank you, Spirit. It's like Spirit just inundated me with all of these things. Okay, <clears throat> so with your beliefs and your faith that basically made a 180 degree turnaround, your shadows would also change. Your, or not your shadows, your outlook on your shadows would change. So if I can give you some advice, if you go back on my channel, I've done countless shadow work readings. 
I feel that if you if you go look at them now and you are faced with some of these shadows right now, you would have a complete different feeling about them or maybe a different understanding about them. So I feel that I understand that you've been doing your shadow work, but maybe the reason why it wasn't so effective was because of these beliefs and the faith and maybe the faith system. So whatever has changed will change your, your shadow work as well. And I feel that if you go back and you do that now, you're absolutely going to run through them and you're going to eliminate their shadows one by one by one by one. That is very cool. Right. So how are you, how can you let all of this flow better? And we have battle. <clears throat> this is Aries. And this card is all, is really all about um, choosing your battles is, is, this battle that I'm about to start, is this worth it? Um, is this worth fighting for or, or is it not? Is this just me and my old beliefs and my old self that just wants to step in here? Or is this actually something I want to fight for? And if it's a yes, then go for it. If it's a no, then don't. But understand that there's a difference here. <clears throat> not only will you see your shadows differently or your faith differently, your battles you will, be, you will be able to see differently now as well, but you need to pay specific attention to them. The next one is a bit tricky. This is about um, what you are focusing on at the moment that you really should be ignoring. Sometimes when we, and especially you, I think in your case, this is even more, more uh, it's stronger because <clears throat> you've been focusing on things that's got to do with your beliefs that you've had or the faith that you've had. And, and it's very hard to change your habits. So I feel that the things that you're focusing on right now really should also undergo a whole transformation because there's, an, there's something new that you need to focus on. So the thing that you are putting really a lot of energy into right now that you shouldn't be focusing on, that you should be ignoring is intuition. That's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so... By having to change your focus here, I don't want to say where your divine guidance have come from. I do want to say your interpretation of divine guidance is going to be completely different now, but you need to be aware of this. Once you've changed those beliefs that was false beliefs, once you've changed them into true beliefs, and once you've maybe <clears throat> seeing something in such a different way because the faith that you had changed or whatever it is for you. The way you see intuition will change completely because I can say I can give guidance to someone and they can see it in one way. And then someone would come and say something and the belief you had around that situation would will, will, will change completely, which means that the guidance thing will change completely as well. Even though it's the same words, your interpretation of the guidance will be completely different. And I feel that when you, when you get guidance, <clears throat> instead of focusing on, on, on what you previously might have done with it, focus rather on, okay, so this has now changed in my life. How will, the interpret, how will my interpretation of this guidance change? Yeah, there we go. Now, your message from Spirit Taurus, spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. This is amazing. Spirit is saying to you, Taurus, that whatever you've changed in the last week or so or month or whatever has really paid off for you. And Spirit is about to really, really give you abundance in every form imaginable. Everything, your life is about to bloom. Your life is about to transform completely. I really hope this helped, Taurus. I'll see you again soon. Take care.